So, why R? Why are we using R in this statistics lab? That's the question for this little video. I'm gonna try to build up some motivation for this, try to get you excited for this new skill that you're going to learn. Um, it does involve some programming, so we'll be using R Studio and we'll be uh, messing around with R scripts and learning how to write code and things like that. We'll be spending a lot of time in this uh, program doing all sorts of things. But I, before we go into R Studio and talk about how to do some basic stuff in R, I wanted to get you a broader sense of what could be possible after you develop some of these skills. So I thought I would just go to my lab website and point out that this entire website was made with RStudio, uh, just like the course website. So if you went to the courses tab and looked up Psych 7709G, uh, I've made the course website using RStudio as well. Actually, almost all of the resources I'll be making for this course, I've made with R and RStudio. Um, and this sort of demonstrates that the skill is much broader than simply a tool for statistics. It's a tool for uh, all sorts of content creation as well. Now, why is that important? Well, let me give you an example uh, from my own research. So here's a web page that I have created that uh, displays a manuscript that I've written with some colleagues. The manuscript's right here. You could download it if you wanted to. Uh, just as an example, we submitted this to Cognitive Science 2020. So here's the paper. And it's got, you know, some stuff in it, some math equations. It's got some figures and some model simulations and reference sections. And, and guess what? I wrote this paper using R. So you can write papers. And I did all of the simulations and the figure generation in R as well. And I built this website to display the results of this research using R. And one neat thing, this is kind of where I was headed, is we can look at some of the R code that I use to do everything in the paper. So this particular piece of R code generates this figure. Um, this R code does the first simulation and generates this figure. These are examples of what we would call reproducible research. Uh, I've created the code that does some things. For example, it could load in some data and do some statistical analysis and print out you know, the results of a test or a figure or whatnot. In this case, it's a model simulation and uh, somebody else, if they wanted to verify what I did, they could obtain my code and run it for themselves on their own machine to verify that, in fact, it does work. So this is one really great use of things like R. You'll be able to create your own shareable and reproducible resources uh, to share down the road. Let me just go back to our studio and say a few more things. Uh, we could be using lots of different kinds of programming languages to learn how to do statistical analysis with code. R is fairly popular and it's uh, adopted by a lot of people, which means that there's uh, many different packages and there's a lot of support for for it within the R community. So I really think that R is great for this reason. Um, basically, there's lots of content out there to help you learn the different things that you're trying to learn. Uh, I don't think I have a whole lot else to say about this. My main point here was just to show you that this skill that you're going to develop can be used in a broad variety of ways, including creating many sorts of research assets um, from books to websites to slide decks. You can even program behavioral experiments using R. So you can accomplish a lot with the program 
and you can make everything that you're doing reproducible and you can uh, well, once you develop the skill you can you'll find that you can do things with R much faster because it automates aspects of the process and uh, compared to say doing things by hand where you can make mistakes and things can take much longer all right so that's it for why R in the next video uh, well let's see probably we're gonna get into um, some basics of using our studio and but we'll see I gotta sort of figure out what one to make next stay tuned